welcome to Balance Bites. Now today we're going to be looking at chunkers. They're made by VIP Pet Foods and today I purchased some from Woolworths for $4.25 for a one kilo bag. The one that I purchased today was the chicken variety and we're about to get into it but I will also be sharing with you part way through this video or at the end uh, the reviews that are found online and you're welcome to also leave your comments below this video as well in regards to your experiences with chunkers now understandably there will be a lot of people out there um, that use it with absolutely no issues whatsoever and there are also very clearly from the reviews people that have had a lot of issues with it uh, making their dogs um, quite sick all right so let's get into it Today we're going to be looking at VIP Pet Foods Chunkers. This specific one is chicken with scrambled eggs and parsley. Please do note that if you go ahead and buy the lamb one, that in the ingredients panel you'll also see that chicken is also an ingredient. So if your dog is intolerant or sensitive in some way to chicken, then the lamb formula will not be appropriate. So let's go ahead and actually have a look at this packaging. So the first thing that we can see here is it says complete and balanced meal. So that means just like kibble, it meets the AFCO minimum nutritional profile to keep a dog alive. And that really is what it's about. It's a minimum uh, nutrient requirement. So it being complete and balanced doesn't actually mean that it's healthy, um, that it's good for your dog in any way. Uh, it can actually meet those nutrient profiles um, by simply adding a vitamin and mineral mix. And most of those are actually synthetic. And the dog's body doesn't actually utilize those nutrients the same way they do with natural vitamins and minerals that come from food. So that's something very important to realize. All right, so what else does it say? A complete meal or perfect for fresh, uh, for a fresh treat or snack with um, added omega-3 and 6. One thing that I don't like to see is added omega-3 and 6. And the reason for this is that these are very sensitive um, oils, okay? So as soon as I open this bag, it's going to be exposed to light as well as oxygen, and that is going to start to oxidize the omegas, all right? So we don't like feeding rancid fats to our dogs. It's not healthy for them. So I would much prefer to actually add an omega supplement to this or simply uh, provide the omegas in a natural diet, such as things like sardines and fish and things like that. All right, so I've opened this up. Now, the color doesn't actually look too bad on these ones. Now, what you'll see online is a lot of people refer to chunkers as being gray. These ones are pretty good. Now, they can go gray pretty quickly. Let me have a quick smell. Okay, these ones don't smell too bad. What you need to know, what a lot of people say with chunkers, is that these go off very, very quickly and you can often smell it, okay? So if these don't look pinkish or the color that they should be, you need to have a smell and if they smell funky, don't feed them to your dogs. Because just like I'm going to show you very shortly, lots of dogs have got sick on chunkers, okay? Now, let's have a look at the ingredient panel. Okay, so the ingredient panel can be found here. Now it says fresh chicken. Well, I would hope it's fresh because what else would it be? The next ingredient is selected cereals. I don't know why they've used the word selected. It is obvious that someone has selected the cereals. So your number two ingredient is actually cereals. Number three is salt. Number four is fresh eggs. Again, I don't know what else they would be other than fresh. Number four, oh my goodness, sugar. Sugar, fair dinkum, sugar is an ingredient in here. Next up is essential vitamins and minerals. Now, just like I spoke about before, these are likely to be, and pretty much guaranteed, guaranteed to be, um, synthetic vitamins and minerals that your dog's body does not uptake and so absorb and utilize the same way as it does uh, with real food nutrients. Okay, so then we continue. Parsley, which we can see. Um, food acid, omega-3, 6, uh, fatty acids, and last of all, 
preservatives 223 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look at what preservative 223 is so we can actually have a look when you're dealing with processed foods you're often going to see some sort of preservative sometimes it's um, it's preserved with the likes of vitamin E or synthetic vitamin E um, sometimes rosemary but this one is an actual chemical so we're going to have to go ahead and have a look at that other than that let's have a look protein 14.5 fat 9.5 salt 1.5 percent so typically salt does not exceed one percent in kibbles um, with afco profiles so there you go um, and then they have the omegas um, there as well now the energy in this is 1700 k calories per kg um, so that's, it's, it's certainly not a diet formula, <laughs> not that they suggest it is anyway, okay? So all right, I'm going to go off and have a look at um, that preservative, And but I can tell you straight up that um, you'll see that I actually cut this open rather than um, caring about the zip um, lock section because I won't be feeding these to my dog. Sugar does not need to be in dog food. Um, <laughs> If you have to put sugar in dog food to make a dog eat it, that's that's pretty that's pretty bad. Okay, so no, and I don't want to feed something that's is seemingly quite high in cereals as well, and I don't know what the quality of the chicken is either. So no, this this will actually be going pretty much straight in the bin, and I'm very sorry to little man, my Labrador cross, who's sitting underneath this table waiting for some he's not getting any. I would not even suggest this for a treat either. And we also know that sugar causes inflammation in the body, so no, I won't be feeding that. We can see from the product review website, which you can find via Google, that VIP Pet Food Chunkers has received 2.1 stars out of 5, and that is from 33 reviews majority of them being one star. So let's go ahead and have a look at what people had to say. One star. These meatballs poisoned my dog. After two days of eating these, she became to hemorrhage and vomit huge blood piles and her bowel movements were nothing but bloody liquid. After spending over $1,000 at the vet, she is doing okay, but not 100%. I am not a happy person because had we not rushed her to the vet, they said she would have died. One star. We brought uh, Chunkers chicken balls for our dog as a treat. After the first meal, the diarrhea was so bad and so fast that we had to throw out the lounge room rug. Then again last night, she had diarrhea, was incredibly sick with it, and my husband had to stay up in case he needed to go to the emergency vet. How dare VIP keep this product on the market, knowing it is doing this to our family pets? The reviews on her are certainly not flattering and food poisoning in our dog is not a matter to be taken lightly. One star. After the first day, the meat went grey. My dog was sick, took the packet back and got another packet. It went grey after another day. Had it in a very cold fridge, did not give it to my dog, will not buy it again. Uh, it was Chunkers lamb and the use by date had three weeks still on the packet. One star. I've been feeding my dog the lamb for four nights and he is very sick and his skin is itchy and red. The poor thing has not stopped scratching all day and I decided to look up Chunkers lamb and realize my gut feeling is right. I bought this at Woolworths. I will never buy this product again. He is still scratching and has no fleas and has never behaved like this before. One star. Both dogs got very sick, ended up in hospital, vomit, diarrhea and lost appetite in the food and also refused to drink had to be on a drip reading reviews like this is really scary and i think it's scary because we don't really have a regulation system in our country and like in other countries if people were reporting that their dogs were getting sick all the time and this has happened with baxters as well then this really needs to be looked into they need to find out what the problem is and rectify it things need to be pulled off shelves when dog owners are constantly saying that their dogs are getting sick, ending up at the vets on drips or have bloody diarrhea and vomiting. 
this is this is just not okay so really guys you need to be flipping the bag over looking at what's in your dog food and really thinking about whether this is healthy and appropriate for your dog